All right. Well, next up, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try this. Fingers <laughs> crossed. We're gonna try to link up with Spoon. They are live uh, from the Village Studios in West LA. Uh, come in, Spoon. Hello. Hey. Hey. Can you hear uh, us? Yes, I can. It's chaos here. <laughs> <laughs> Fly by the seat of your pants this morning. Oh, it's great. Well, hey, thank you for uh, making the uh, the trip and on this rainy day and and doing this for us. Uh, yeah. So everything good? Yeah, it's good. Getting there. Okay. It's a cool. uh, yeah. We're you know, it's a work in progress that you're going to hear. <laughs> Well, since we are running a little bit late, why don't we go straight into some music, if you okay. don't mind, and then we'll catch up with you um, middle of the set. Okay. okay. Spoon live on KCRW. Mm-hmm.
It's hot in the drum room. All right. What else is new? Oh, wait, I need to get my capo. Is it a capo or a capo? It's a capo. Oh. Can you hear me, Eric? Hey, yeah. Hey, Jim. Hi. K. 
you truly felt we're getting you wrong and it feels real good all but only briefly like high school poppers would when you lose a bit of yourself The chaos <laughs> spoon sounds real good. Real good. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Rob. So uh, the album transference just out uh, yesterday. Um, enjoyed your show at El Cid a couple days back. Very nice. Thanks. Yeah, it was a fun one. Was that your first uh, live performance of these these songs? Some it was of the f- them? yeah the first of uh, a couple of them. Nobody gets me but you it was the first time we played that there. Some of these songs we've been playing for a, almost a couple years, like like that last one. But uh. And then you were on uh, Conan O'Brien last night. Yeah, how was that? It was it was really good. Um, he was he's kind on, of on fire. Yeah, he's on fire right now. Yeah, they have what just a few days left. Before. Yeah, 
Yeah. And he's he's enjoying it. It seems like interesting. So Transference is your your seventh studio album. Um, where did you guys record this one? Well, we did uh, we did it kind of all over the place. It's the first record we didn't like sit down and just do in a studio for months and months at a time. Um, we did some of it in Brooklyn at this studio called Rare Book Room. Some of it in my basement. Some of it uh, in Austin. Mm. Kind of piecemeal this time. Well, speaking of Brooklyn. Um was reading the New York Times uh, interview uh, recently. Uh, you're quoted in there as as transference. You say is is the most we've sounded like us yet. It's it's the spooniest. Well, I see, I didn't say the spooniest. Mac, that was Mac, said that. Mac McCon said yeah. that. But it, I've read the article. It does look kind of like I said that. Yeah, that's just not a word I would ever say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, well, uh, we've, but yeah, we've okay. That. The sentiment is the same. Um, yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's the first time we've worked without a producer and. I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it. It just seems more kind of hardcore us. Is that what just happens naturally, you think? Over time, you become more who you really are? If you're, if you're good. Yes. Sure. I understand a few of these songs are actually the original uh, demo version. You didn't uh, really touch them up at all. Right, right. Yeah, Before Destruction is a lot like that. Um, I think we might have added a little bit to that one. But... Uh, uh, Good night, Laura is is the demo. Um, a lot of them, yeah, are either the demo. They're, they're either what you're hearing is just the demo or the demo plus plus a little bit of something in the studio. Well, I like the you know I like the rough hewn sound of, of of the album. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of dubbiness to it. You know, um, cool. were you listening to like dub dub effects and dub reggae and things like that? Because there are so many kind of interesting dub effects throughout yeah well we do every night when we play a show um our sound guy hot pockets is kind of dubbing up our our songs live every night so we was wondering who hot pockets was actually i heard you uh give him a shout at the show at el cid and i'm like yeah who is hot pockets hot pockets he's our sound guy sound guy okay yeah do you have nicknames for for everyone i think that might be his legal name (laughs) (laughs) um does anybody else have nicknames we're still working on that. Jim, Jim, is your mic on? Yeah. Do you yeah. Maybe we should come up with one for you. Yeah, I had a feeling you would do this now, live. Before the end of the show. <laughs> Jim's nickname. Hello? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Okay, sorry. It's always a little disconnecting. Sorry, when, sorry. Uh, you know, you're way over across town. I'm here, yeah, but um, I know. I'm glad we can make it's it raining. work. But um, I also d- I don't want to uh, take you off track on the on the dub question because um, I do feel like it's an interesting influence on uh, on the record. Well, thanks. I mean, yeah, I'm into that stuff. I'm not an expert at it, but I'm I'm learning. I mean, sometimes on the record it's a little even disorienting. You know, there's the false ending in uh, written in reverse, and then mystery zone just ends abruptly. I mean, mm-hmm. is that just kind of a a, a playful approach to to the the songwriting and the production yeah i think it, playfulness is a good way that's a good word for it um that's what i like hearing when i listen to a record you know and um i think probably for mystery zone we just oh yeah we did do an a longer ending and it just seemed like it just went on and on it didn't really add anything so we just said oh let's just cut it right there yeah you're like mid vocal too yeah i like that <laughs> do you like that i like it I like it. We Jim all like, like it. That. It's just like at first it. when I first heard it, I thought, it's, "Can that be right? Maybe." Oh, I better contact the label. You know. <laughs> um, so, um, transference is a is a, a Freudian term. Is there anything more significant about just the word? Uh, you know, as as a title, or is it just a compelling idea to you? Well, when I first uh, I was reading this book book on Freud, and when I got to the chapter on transference, I I just thought to myself, "That's a good looking word. I like the way it looks on paper. I like the way it sounds." in my head as I'm reading it to myself. And then I read the chapter, and, and yeah, it, it, it seemed to ring pretty true. Um, I, I liked that, that concept a lot, so sure. I kind of was always pulling for it as a title. So let's talk about uh, your dates when people can check you out. You kick off your tour on Valentine's Day, which is very sweet. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're off to Europe. Is that right? I believe I so. I believe really? so. Hmm. Um, you're off to Europe. Valentine's 
Europe first, I think, um, and then you're back here to South by Southwest, which actually you're considered an Austin band, so that's that's got to be a that'll be a great show. Yeah, yeah. And so then you um, you end up at uh, at Coachella, which is very exciting for us here in Southern California. Same day as uh, Sly and the Family Stone, too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I haven't seen the list yet. Everybody was talking about it yesterday. It's, it's solid. We've got to get a good list. Yeah? Yeah. Who else is playing? Pavement. Tom York. Tom York, Gorillaz. Phoenix. Yeah. Good stuff, as always. When is Public Image playing? They're playing Friday. On Friday. We've got to yeah. be there for that. We've got to be there. So if you don't mind, I have a few questions that I, um, I pulled from, from Twitter because we like to involve our, our, our listeners. And okay. So if you don't mind, um, Not at all. start with uh, Tyler Hale is headed to South by Southwest and asks, where can I get the best margarita and barbecue in Austin? Uh-huh. Um, best barbecue in the city limits, I think, is Ruby's. Yeah, Ruby's, I would say. Uh, if you want to go outside a little bit, then the Salt Lake is very, very good. And margarita as well. That's just a lot. There's a lot of good margarita. <laughs> I don't know. Matt's El Rancho makes a good margarita. Um, it gave else? me a headache last time. Yeah, that could have been the food. Might have been the food. <laughs> Might have been the fish taco. Okay, so then maybe Trudy's or uh, El Azteca. Guero's, I think. Has Guero's good. has a really good yeah. margarita. Yeah. Cool. All right, there you go, Tyler. Uh, question two from J Cal D eighty nine. How did you end up featuring a Japanese dancing robot in the video for Don't You Ever? Well, that's not really our our video. It's somebody else's deal. Um, but, but you, uh, you know what he's referring to? Yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about, that little yellow robot. Um, yeah, not it our just deal. just happened. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's um, a robot. Morgan Page, who coincidentally is a, a remix producer I know of, um, he says that uh, you guys need some remixes. He, he says we need some? Well, he thinks, that, he thinks that you should have them. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll send him some stems. And dub it up. <laughs> And Britt, I, actually, I have a couple of remixes that you've done. Um, I have an Interpol and a Feist remix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. That was kind of an honor. Well, it was definitely an honor to be asked by both of those those folks to to do stuff. Um, I was kind of learning as I went. Nah, they're cool. Yeah, thanks. So, last Twitter question: um, How did you like Yummy Fur uh, recently? I guess you were spotted at the Yummy Fur show. I loved them. I mean, they. As far as I knew up until last week, they were broken up, so I never thought I'd get the chance to see them. I got into that record in the summer of 98, that Sexy World record, and uh, um, they were great. I really liked them. They were cool. energetic. They were well, thanks to me. all the, uh, the the listeners uh, for uh, tweeting some questions for Spoon. Um, all right, well, let's make sure we get in uh, time for your second set this morning, and thank you for joining us. The album is just out, Transference. Um, what are you going to play for us next? We're going to play Chicago at Night. All right, it's Spoon live on KCRW. Ready. You guys ready? Okay. Chicago that night, she faced a wall, and she woke up outside with all them leaves in her mouth and felt the pall. And all night, the rain came on down, but then she never been to Chicago at night. Speaking with that second language And she never been there before They went and set up the wall And oh, nobody expected much from this reinvention She still brought right down after all Unless she knew that it was all
That's what I'm saying Must be some way to convey it But nobody else remembers my name Just those parts I was playing Nobody gets me but you Nobody gets me but you No one gets what I'm doing Everyone else seems to look through it Oh, but maybe I never wanted them to Couldn't count on it anyway Nobody gets me Nobody gets me but you
ball. Okay. You ready for that, E? Joining us live on this rainy morning from the Village Studios. Songs from the album Transference, which is out this week. In fact, we have uh, autographed copies of the album to give away. Just a moment, but we do have time for one more if, uh, if you can do that. Yeah, we can figure something out. All right, let me do, uh, let me do this uh, CD giveaway real quick. Oh, oh, my God. Is that cool? Someone just turned into a robot. <laughs> what happened? Careful. Do you want... Should we play a song? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to do this uh, this CD giveaway, okay. and then you can uh, <laughs> I think take I it heard, away. Hold on. Hal, what's wrong? We have five autographed copies of Spoon's Transference CD uh, for our subscribers. If you have not won any giveaways from us in the past 90 days, that's the deal. Call us with your KCRW member number right now at 877-600-KCRW. That's 877-600-5279. The CD is available to our subscribers first come, first serve basis, and they're non-transferable. All right, throwing it back to Britt Daniel. Jim Eno, Eric Harvey, and Rob Pope, and a man named Hot Pockets on the scene as well. All right, guys, take it away and thank you.
this time I'm looking through you You know who you are A planet for the apocalypse is not considered Consider cool, I don't suggest it myself Yeah, I've got a lot. 